Okay, so let's take a look at power management on the Q-Series. Uh, now, we have made videos about this topic uh, on other uh, panels. So for, for those of you who have used a New Line panel before, this may be review. Uh, but we're going to take a look at it here now on the Q-Series. And the, the specific issue that this addresses is, hey, Tim, you know, I use my panel for a while, and then I walk away. And when I turn around again after X number of minutes, uh, my panel's turned off. What's going on? And that, of course, is not a bug. That's a feature. That is the power management uh, doing its job, uh, which you can adjust, and that's what I'm going to show you. But before I do that, I also want to point out that uh, if your panel is being managed by your IT staff, then you, you may not necessarily have any control over this. Uh, so I just wanted to point that out. But if that's not the case, and if, it, if, it's, all, if it's all you all the time, uh, then you do have control over this, and so I'm going to show you now how to make that adjustment. So from the panel's home screen, we head up to the panel settings button, which of course is that button that looks like a gear right there in the top right-hand corner, and we give that a touch, and it opens this window, which gives us our options, and right down there at the bottom, uh, there's power. I'm going to scroll up a little bit just so you can see it. There we go. And when we give that a touch, it takes us into the power management settings. Right here in the middle, where it says energy saving. If you see that it has a number, you can, in fact, you can have a number there if you want. And again, whatever that number is, when the panel is not touched within that amount of time, it will initiate its shutdown procedure. But if you make it never, then it'll never do that. So if you want to just not worry about it, go ahead and make that never. Okay, and that's how you can make that happen. Again, assuming you have control over that and your panel's not being managed uh, elsewhere. Uh, while we are here, let's also take a look at the top of this window where we have auto power on and auto power off. Now, notice that we have switches for that. So we can, in fact, schedule our panel to turn on at a certain time on certain days and, and turn off uh, at a certain time on certain days. So let's go ahead and go through that. I'm going to turn these switches on. And now that's going to allow me to uh, go into that setting and choose times of day. So I'm going to go ahead and for power on, brings up the clock. I'm going to touch weekdays, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. And I'm going to use the clock. I'm going to go to 7 in the AM. That works for me. I'm going to give it an OK. And there we go. My power on time is now every weekday at 7 in the morning. I'm going to do the same thing. Power off this time. I'm going to go with, let's go with 17, 19. There we go, 24-hour time. So that's going to be 7 in the evening, and once again, weekdays. Touch those. Looks great. Give it an OK, and there we go. So now my panel is scheduled to power off at 7 o'clock in the evening. Uh, so you are welcome to do that. It's not required. It's optional, but that's another way that you can make it convenient for yourself so that you don't even have to touch the power button uh, down here. You can have it scheduled to come on and off uh, whenever you decide. So the power management settings. Uh, allow you to control uh, whether your panel turns off uh, if it hasn't been touched in a while. It also allows you to control when your panel comes on or off via a schedule. So if your panel's not being managed elsewhere, you can, in fact, go and change those settings yourself.